Okay, we have here another integral. This one's from JEE Main 2002. We have the integral from zero to square root of two, the floor of x squared dx. Okay, now just briefly on the floor function, what that will do is it'll round us down to the next highest integer. So for example, let's just say we needed to take the value of 0.99, the floor of 0.99, that's gonna round us down to zero. But if we're taking the floor of some integer value, like three, let's say, that's just gonna be three. So what I have over here to the right is, let's just look at the graph of x squared, not the floor of x squared, just our graph of x squared on these bounds from zero to square root of two. And so you see when our x value is square root of two, we're just gonna get two. Now with the integral, we're not really that interested in what happens at endpoints, just because it's not gonna have any area. So we're really interested in what's happening between the endpoints. Now what'll help a lot of times with the floor function is if we can break up our integral. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this. Well, of our first integral, we'll write this from zero to one. And then for the second one, we'll just take the rest of it. So we'll integrate from one to our upper bound square root of two. So what we've done is split our integral right here on the one value and we'll evaluate these separately. So from zero to one, if we look at what's happening here, notice that even at our endpoint, we're only getting up to one, but we don't care about the endpoint. So what's gonna happen is everything here from zero to one, all of this is gonna be rounded down to zero. Technically, technically this would be like an open circle here because at one, the floor would evaluate us to one. So what we can do is come back to our integral and just look at the first one from zero to one. All the values are zero, so we're integrating zero. So this piece is just going away and it's gonna be nothing. So it's all gonna come down to the second piece. So we'll look at our integral from one to square root of two. Now here, when we square one and take the floor, it's just gonna bring me to one. But now in this region from one to square root of two, you'll notice only at square root of two, we square it and we get two. So at that one point, the floor will take us to two. But for all these other points, everything's gonna be rounded down to one. But again, this endpoint doesn't matter, so everything in this area is just gonna to evaluate to one. So over here, we're just integrating one dx. So to finish this off, it's gonna be real easy because we're integrating one. So we integrate this, and we just get x evaluated from one to square root of two. Evaluating this, we're gonna get square root of two minus one, and that's it. So there you have a pretty easy example of the floor function from JEE main 2002. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.